another one. There's our pretty girl there. Don't tell me y'all can't see her. That's a beautiful frame. Hear that bee flight? Set these nukes down a little over an hour ago, I think. Now, the sun's coming out, so they're taking some nice orientation flights. Nice hum going on. This should be some better audio without a highway being nearby. Wonderful sound. So I'm about to getting ready to transfer these nukes into the into tin frame boxes. As you can see, I got a lot of empty spots on my pallets there, and that's because I'm putting these white boxes there. I wish I'd have had them down before I moved the bees here, so they would have been there when the bees were orienting, but. Just the way things worked out didn't happen that way. Trying to plan ahead for my what I might need all my boxes for and everything, and decided to purchase in a pallet from a from a local source. 54 on a pallet, I believe. It's the Man Lake style boxes. What I don't like is they're painted. I like my stuff to be wax dipped. And coming from the big box store, I doubt, seriously doubt, that the joints are glued. Everything else in my operation, everything is glued. So, don't like that, but kind of needed them pronto. So, sometimes you got to sacrifice. If I didn't have work to do, I could just stand here and listen to this all day.
but I got to get these boxes out here in another location and then I'll be back around to start transferring these nukes and I think I'll bring y'all back when I get to that point all right folks I'm bring y'all along for these this group of four right here and this is I'm bringing y'all along for one of the one of my favorite things to do in beekeeping so I'm transferring these nukes into these boxes as I mentioned earlier and to give you a little background all these nukes were made up I made videos on it previously I may link them here in the video up here at the top but anyway the end of April kind of mid to late April I grafted the first queen cells of the year and then late April in the, the very first part of May I made my splits and then placed the cells and everything and then probably the week of May 20th somewhere right in there I went through and checked all my nukes for laying queens and everything it was good for the most part had some swarming a little bit of a swarming issue in my nukes that swarmed away with the queen I put in there I still got a laying queen it's just not the one that I grafted for and everything but this yard here Specifically, I've brought in all of the all of my carniolan queens. So these were queens that I grafted. I know they're the, from the cell that I put in there. And this is one of my favorite things to do is because you get to see all of the work that you've put in before come to fruition, basically. And these things are packed full of brood and bees. I actually should have transferred them before now, but I just now been able to get to it. But as you're moving them into this full size equipment, there's just so much potential there and you can't help but think about what they're gonna be able to do for you. So just one of those things in beekeeping that's very rewarding, you know? So without further ado, let's get into it. So I've got all my high body set up like so. Five frames in here. Four of them are just going to be black plastic foundation. And then one of them is going to be a drone comb. This is a new thing I'm adopting in my operation because I'm really getting into queen rearing and I'm wanting to do everything I can to promote the best mating possible and to get the best mating you need to have tons of drones in the area you need to have tons of drones surrounding your mating yards so these colonies that I'm transferring right now are going to be my mature colonies come next spring when I'm splitting and raising queens and right now being a young colony with a new queen we're in a bit of a honey flow right now so they're going to be really good at drawing new wax so right now is the time to build new combs and build new drone combs and when they're not using this to raise drones in they're going to use it as a most likely a honey frame there might be some pollen in there too but they'll use it as a food frame so my process for transferring these girls has been they are a little stronger like i mentioned I've, i'm getting to them just a tick late some of them are so incredibly packed that they're thinking about swarming. I got eggs in queen cups. A few of them have had larvae. So I don't know if it's right or wrong, but if they if I see one 
who doesn't look like they're thinking about swarming. I just put all five frames right here in the middle and then I'll before I start, I close the entrance to the easy nuke. And once I get all the frames in there, I'll tap the bees down and shake them on top and then set this nuke back where it was and the entrance is closed so the foragers can't get back in there. Now say I come across one that is showing signs of swarming, like maybe they have a larva in a queen cup or something, then I'm gonna put I'm going to move a found foundation or maybe even two inside and I'll have a, a nuke frame here and a nuke frame here on the outside of them just to make them feel a little void there and maybe they'll focus their attention on drawing this wax out. So as y'all might see I've got all the nukes right up next to the the main high body entrance that's because i'm you know i'm transferring them in here the bees have oriented to that the easy nuke box so i'm going to close that off and with the entrances being right next to each other the bees will eventually migrate over here and i'll show you all that later on the ones i've already done and uh, help the bees orient to their new places i've alternated these are my wax dip boxes with the natural wood color then I got these new white hive bodies and I'll, I've alternated them. So like this side over here on this pallet's white. Well, the white one's over there on that corner on the other pallet. I don't know if it helps or not, but it just, in my mind it helps, so I do it. So now, let's see what's in this one. As y'all can see, they're packed full of bees. That is an awesome looking nuke right there, if you ask me. So this outside frame that I'm pulling out when I made these splits was a completely new foundation so they've drawn almost half of it got some nectar and pollen in there this other side i mean they're just now starting to draw some wax on it and i'm putting these frames back they're going to be oriented the same way they were when they were right here i try my best sometimes i forget not seeing any queen cups or anything yet. On most of them that have had a little swarming tendency, I've seen signs by now. Awesome frame of cat brood there. Here's one queen cup, it's dry, nothing in it. So we're looking good. more another cat brood frame right here you can see the remnants of her first round of laying she had this whole entire frame solid with cat brood it's all emerged out this little ring is all that's left of it she's came back and laid it back up and now it's starting to get capped and it'll start working its way out Another queen cup with nothing in there, so we're looking good on that front. More of the same here. And there's our queen. The beautiful pink mark. Nice looking car on the only queen.
And then our last frame is another beautiful frame of brood. This is the very outside. I think they've drawn this new wax and there's some brood on it as well. And I saw no signs of swarming, so I'm just putting them all right in the middle. Get all these frames tight. Now with the Easy Nuke entrance closed, they can't get in here. Now I'm gonna tap them down and shake them. And the leftovers I shake right in front of the entrance. And then put the box back. And that one is done. Now come tomorrow, there shouldn't be any bees on this box and I'll gather all these up and take them home. Do another one. This box came from my yard that got hit by the hailstorm with all my, my fancy tape job on there. Here's our queen on the first frame. She tells me she's over here looking for room to lay. Another beauty. I'm really liking those pink dots. Took me time to find every single queen and mark them, but I think it's worth it. beekeeping people what do you want spam risk no thank you here's some queen cups that one had an egg in it that one's got an egg in it frames like that I'll shake the bees off make sure I'm not missing any like that one there I couldn't see it with the bees it's got an egg in it and I know my queen's in the box so that's why I'm comfortable shaking frames another beautiful frame We got one frame left, so I'm going to move this foundation over inside. Last frame has some brood on there. And another queen cup with an egg. So oh, there's a good representation of both sides of the story that I'm seeing. Now, do I know if that, moving that foundation in and creating that room will help subside the swarming impulse? No, I do not know. So that's why you know, in a few days to a week, I'm going to have to come back through here and see what they're doing still. If I would have got here a little earlier, before they had the idea of maybe swarming, I could just put them in here and kind of just turn the reins loose and kind of let them do their thing. But now, you know, getting to them a little late, I'm going to have to keep a little bit of an eye on them still. See what these next two look like. Packed. There's a queen on the first frame again. 
you all see that pink dot? Bang. So there's getting to be some nectar filling some cells in the brood nest. So that's part of the problem. You know, they've pretty much filled up this nuke space that they have, so I'm hoping now doubling their space, you know, they'll draw comb and have somewhere to put that incoming nectar. Move this foundation in as well. Looking good, girls. That's outside frame. Another good one. I haven't opened up a bad one yet, so. There's a frame right there. Look at that. All this, all out to here is larva. So that whole thing is gonna be solid. Same story over here. There's another spam risk. Nope. They can wait. But these carniolan queens, they're a darker bee, you know, so. But these colonies going through an emergence, I'm noticing my, my worker bees are getting darker too. There's some new bees on this frame that have emerged and they're kind of darker. Like that one there, those ones that look like that. Look kind of maybe a little grayish right now because they're so new. And then I got all these regular golden ones. I guess more Italian influence. Once this queen really starts to take over, this whole colony is going to look like that. And then she's going to blend in better with them. She's going to be harder to find. So that's why I marked them all. Another one. There's our pretty girl there. Don't tell me y'all can't see her. That's a beautiful frame. I'll let her get off of this frame so I can shake it. Whoops. That right there, boys and girls, is why I love raising my own queen. She has it laid out all the way to there. It's larva. This thing is going to be absolutely solid. And I'm going to insert some pictures that I've taken of some ones before that were solid capped. Just amazing looking frames. And something I would be ecstatic to receive if I bought a nuke like that. So, hint, hint, everybody. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be selling nukes next year. I should have sold some this year. Because I'm kind of overrun with bees right now. And just the good year we're having as far as wind and mating weather and everything. Should have sold them this year, but. I have trouble letting go of such good stock. All right, everybody, this yard's done. So this whole yard is now transferred 
in the morning I'll come pick up the nuke boxes and that's kind of one reason I'm doing this because I have all my easy nukes were occupied and I'm needing them I need some that are empty because I need to make more splits well I don't need to but I made a while back I grafted two frames of cells just kind of in case I needed them and they took so two frames, so that's 90 cells. 89 were accepted and they looked beautiful. They were all packed full of royal jelly and everything. It's like, man, if I don't need them, I don't know if I can bring myself to waste them. So that's the reason why I don't want to waste them. So I'm going to make splits just to use them up, get more new queens. So I started with this pod over here. started with this one in fact and as you can see all the foragers they're going back to the box that they think's home where they oriented to and then you got the bees in the box here they're fanning putting out pheromone telling everybody hey our new homes over here come here y'all see them fanning and you can see it's working they're slowly marching over there got bees marching down there See these foragers coming back, got the white on their thorax. I think they've been working that bee balm. Looks like they're bringing back lots of pollen too. Yep, pretty much the same story everywhere. This nuke here that I started with was absolutely packed. Look at that. It almost looked like a 10 frame box already. And they had like two completely solid capped brood frames, almost a third. And then fourth frame had some open brood on there. Well, this is why I love nukes and new queens two weeks that box is going to be full and hopefully if we have a good flow you know they can make me some honey so it looks like the plan is working good more fanning So I posted on my Facebook page, I mowed this yard before I moved all my equipment in here. And I leave these flowers because I can't stand, can't bring myself to mow them down. So I posted on my Facebook page that that was an easy way to tell if a beekeeper did the mowing job. So this is some bee balm. In previous video, I was showing some white. Look at that bee there. Some bee balm that has white, I don't know if these are petals or leaves, but the instead of purple, it's white. I think this purple variety is way prettier. And it has more flowers. It's growing more, more nodes. This one has one, two, three, four, five, and it's gonna put on a fifth. The white I've been seeing hasn't been putting on that many. But the white is still producing. Look at that. I think some people call it horse mint. It is an excellent honey producing plant. So everybody, thanks for watching. If y'all have any questions or comments, leave them down below. But I better quit talking because I have a whole lot more of this that needs done. And then I got to make them splits I was talking about tomorrow. Play cells and then do some more of this. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all made it till the very end. And uh, I'll see you all on the next one.